to the next instalment of all the gear, some idea. But it's not the instalment that you would be expecting. No, we're looking at our our boat that we were telling you about in our first video. Yeah. Um, you join us here on a sweltering hot day on the south coast of England. It's around about 31 degrees, which is usually get naked and run for a ball. Or get a motorbike out. Have you got one of those? No, so maybe not, so not yet. But um, yeah, so uh, we're kind of on a make or break day. I think that's what we should call this video. Make or break for the Make boat. or break for the Mercury. Yeah, yeah. Mercury, not the Mercury, yeah. But it's Mer different Mercury. This is a 60, not a 30, yes. five, yeah. which is over there still. This is our original engine with all the bits on it from the second engine that we bought. If you kept up with the video that we um, mentioned to you on our first introduction video yeah. on the channel. Um, yeah, so. Uh, We've fitted some more bits to this engine today. Um, we've also found out a bit more information from a guy uh, down at Ski Marine in Charminster, a guy called Richard Holland. So uh, go see him for any of your marine needs. Excellent bloke. Tahatsu specialist. He is a Tahatsu Don't specialist. Don't need to see it, but we do have a Tahatsu here as well. Yeah. Didn't cover him. Don't like boat engines. No. But um, yeah, uh, Richard down at Ski Marine give us some valuable advice saying um, around about, about our flywheel on top of the engine here. Um, we've had the centre part of it off um, and obviously that can only go on one way because it's got a master spline where it meets the crankshaft um, and the uh, flywheel itself can go on in eight different denominations and stuff because you've got eight bolts on it so you can move it around eight times before you meet the same point again. Um, we thought it didn't matter where the flywheel was positioned. And we were told on a forum. We don't like forums. That no, much, but, but sometimes they are useful. Yeah, depending on what you're after. And we had asked the question multiple times and everyone seems to just just for the timing marks, but this Richard? Yeah. Has given us information. Remembered his name? I didn't remember his name. It's given us information that so it might does, be in value. Yeah, so we might actually have might have done the fuel pump and the carp seal for the flange for no reason. But flange. oh the the sticky things that there's footage of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we've replaced the carb gaskets where the carburetors meet the engine block. Um, they were quite intricate. They had some little um, sticky back material on them, and you can peel it back, and the gasket is actually stuck to the engine. I've never had that with any gaskets before in my life, so it did make fitting them a lot easier. Yeah, and they weren't overly expensive. They're four pound ninety three each mm. from a local marine factors. marine mechanics. I think we are. Yeah. Old Bay Marine. Yeah. yeah. They've got, their website's pretty good. If you know what engine number you've got, you can go through every single diagram for your engine. So we have generally done that just to see what bits go where and how it looks and how it's meant to be together. Yeah. Obviously, an engine of this age, was it 1988 or something like that? Yeah, so it's circa 84 to 90, I believe. Yeah. yeah. There's not many parts they can supply, but they do give you prices, they do give you the part numbers, so it saves having to search around for a part number. Um, yeah. So now we're just trying to. Um, well, we're ready to crank it. We've uh, brought you along for the ride. Yeah. As we say, this is make or break. So um, depending on how this goes, we'll kind of decide for whether we keep our beloved boat or keep the engine or try and maybe get another engine. Um, but what would? Hang on. Go on. Go I on. know we have mentioned Matt before. I think. Yeah. I think I'm in the shop. Yeah. I think we mentioned Matt before, and I know Matt watches. Hi Matt. Hi Matt. Two T's. Two T's. Two T's. Um, <laughs> he's obviously a part of the syndicate of the boat as well. And I, I, is it 17 or 18 subscribers we've got? Last time I checked it was 17. 17. 17. 17 people can tell us what we're better off doing. Keeping the boat or selling the boat. You know, you have, we have a plan that you know, if we keep the boat, there's more stuff we can do. Yeah. And it'd be fabulous to go out on weather like this. How long is this boat going to last? Well, not forever. Not forever. Or we can go down another route of potentially cars, some motorbikes, some challenges between the three of us. Mm. I know Matt's a bit camera shy. We'll get, we'll get there. We'll get We're camera shy, there. as you can tell. Are we? Well, a little bit. It's weird talking to a camera. Oh, but is. you're wedded. Huh? You're wedded. You weren't camera shy then. You were right, little close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good day. Good day. Right, didn't have a boat. Right, let's go. Should we do it? Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Yeah, we're just fitting new gaskets at the moment to the engine. And uh, sick. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Just interrupt me with flow mate, it's fine. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got these new genuine uh, carb gaskets carved onto the uh, engine, and uh, I thought it would be a bit weird when we took them out of the packet. We've got grey side, one side white on the other. It's actually a sticky back jobby, a bit of stickiness. And you can actually stick it to the engine so it doesn't move around when you're trying to put your carb on. It's bloody fantastic. Bloody a swear word? Quicksilver. Other gasket companies don't know. That is how to make a mechanical technician job a lot easier. So what they've never done. What? Got onto Quicksilver's website. Have it? Well, yeah, because they've got a website. Yeah, you're right. We haven't. Maybe we should do that. So we've also replaced this seal on the bottom of the uh, throttle butterfly spindle. Um, we haven't managed to find new ones, so uh, we fitted the ones off of our old carbs because we suspected that was where we were having a fuel leak from. So there's a little washer that goes on the bottom of there, and a spring, which has got like a half moon section in it, which slides onto the uh, throttle butterfly spindle itself. I should do, sorry, no, it's the other way around, I'm being silly. Something like that, and then we move that round. Put the spring over on that arm there, push it home, and now we've got spring and throttle assembly. And it's literally that spring's only uh, job. I feel like I'm being really boring, you know, like guy out of Mrs. Dabfire who does the dinosaurs.
So as you've just seen from the video that has just been shown, the engine now runs. So everything we've done has worked out good. Um, <clears throat> now it's just a case of deciding, do we keep the boat or do we sell the boat and, and, and do some other things that we have ideas to do um, and let somebody else enjoy the work that we've just done on this boat. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.